Darius Baisley, let's talk about this. The ninth rated recruit in the class of 2018, according to ESPN.com. He has decommitted from Syracuse, sorry Dave McMenamin, to play in <laughs> the G League. This is super interesting because this is really mm -hmm. one of the first like big time top 10 guys. And he told Yahoo Sports, quote, Ultimately, playing pro ball has always been my dream. This is what's going to put me one step closer to doing so. He also called this a life-changing decision that he put a lot of thought into. All right, come at me on the G League, Tracy. I know how you feel. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't like it. If I, I think if you're going to pursue a pro career, G League is not the way to go. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you, why not? If it's, it, well, if it's financially is why he's making this move. Mm -hmm. I can't see it any other way. Why not go across seas and make more money? You're not making that much, much money in the G League, and you might actually end up playing a couple seasons down in the G League. You know, so I, I just, I don't like the move. I think it was bad advice. I would rather see him go to college, you know, play at, how you pass up Syracuse to go to the G League? Well, look, college is where you brand yourself now. College, like on that stage, especially as a one-and-done guy, like you get to the tournament, that's where people start to know your name. Down in the G League, Stock you're playing up. with grown men who are trying to make a name probably off you now yeah. because you're the you're the five-star guy. Right. The, st the salary in the G League is about $75,000. Yep. You know, look, I'm not like you go to college for like what, what basic essentially one semester. I don't know that that translates to seventy five thousand dollars, but in terms of the branding, Depends you're on passing what college up. you're going to, you can get seventy five grand to go to certain colleges. Well, in the pop the Stanford oh. collar right say, there. I'm just saying. Say, I'm not saying the tuition. Uh, I'm just saying. Okay, you but let's get let's see extra. the shoe deal. Let's see the shoe deal before because I didn't like it well, at first, and then I was like, ooh, what if he signs a big shoe deal so, right off the bat? So this is this is where the, the issue comes. Look, this see, is maybe a little premature, mm -hmm. Trace, because I get what you're saying and obviously the system hasn't caught up, up yet. If the NBA does shift things though, so he can be under the age of 19 and maybe have a two-way contract that would get him up and down. Now that's different. Right, and that, that would yeah. pay him more and it would also mean that if he was succeeding in the G League, maybe he could come in for a few games. Yep, you that know, is look different. Look at Quinn Cook, what he's doing on a two-way contract with the Warriors right, right now. The, introducing these two-way contracts, I thought was a big step for the G League. Yes. Yep. It changes the money for these guys, yes. it changes the opportunity. Right now, there's still that hard cap on being 19 years old, though, or at least having a year out of high school. If that changes, again, to me, and you can, you know, kind of pump up. There he is. With the money. Aww. In the ding dong. Aww. Look at him. Whoa. 17 year old. Young young. <laughs> then maybe you could come out of high school like Tracy <laughs> and play, play with men. I don't know. I mean, look, I am obviously down on the NCAA, the way they limit opportunities for these guys. And it's just, and while, as long as that is still happening, the NBA is not going to fix college sports for it. Right. Um, I, I think the G League could be a viable alternative, but you still got it. There's still more tweaking to go. There's also this is also a fascinating way of circumventing the draft, right? If you think about this, yeah. like that he's going to be in a G League draft. Yep. But a player of that caliber generally is going to be a lottery pick, and mm -hmm. there's teams that tank really hard to try to get lottery picks like that. Now it's about the G League draft. If you see more and more guys so, doing that, that it's fascinating. This is my, you know, <laughs> naiveness. If you don't he, know all the G League rules, if, chapter so if, and verse, Tracy McGrady. If he's in a G League draft, <laughs> can he get drafted in the NBA draft? Eh? He has to get redrafted. Mm -hmm. He has to get he's redrafted. Yeah. So because of the way yep. the rules are okay. now, you're not getting drafted by an NBA team, but you will be with an NBA affiliate increasingly. Right. Right. So, like, yes, it is, it is more complex, but, yes, he will go back in and be redrafted the next season, that 2019 year. So, but he will have experience with a G League team that a is most likely franchise. affiliated with a different franchise. You brought up the two-way contract. Woo. I'm just saying that this this the system isn't uh, isn't right. caught up yet, but it is an interesting indication that maybe guys would be yep. interested in this, and it could prompt the NBA to accelerate making the system. I don't better. like it. We'll mm. see. No, I got well, you just you. you just went in and and made your money, so that was a whole different world for you, Tracy. <laughs> it's like, oh, I just graduated from high school. Give me my large check.